Hi everybody. Welcome back to Mulling Over with me, Purnima Jaydev. Been a long time. Wish you all a very happy new year 2022. While overall last year just about sailed through a survival mode for many of us, a big and most underrated success has been undoubtedly 1 million jabs in our country. And with no weird debates or slogan on whether we should get vaccinated or not. Personally, last year has been crazy for me. Wave two was very bad. One way or the other, each of us were affected, lost our near and some of our near and dear ones. We were truly tested. But what's amazing is our resilience. Here we are. Some of us have almost forgotten those terrible days of last March to May. Some of us can even joke about it. Well, that's life, I guess. And I and I went through terrible days of pain and recovery after my shoulder and upper arm surgery. And here I am with a hand that has only recovered about sixty percent mobility. And the only thing I really, really want in life is another season of Game of Thrones, uh, one that says the pre-season finale was all a dream sequence, probably banal. But yeah, in the midst of all this, I interviewed for a job. And after different job interviews, joined an organization, and much to my own surprise, I'm liking my decision so far. But I've had some really funny and interesting experience through these interviews. But that is probably for another podcast episode. Now about my podcast episode four. My dear friend Vinay keeps calling my podcast a monologue. Rather, he calls me a monologue because of my podcast. Actually, he's the one who got me to think that audio pods are better than blogs, and so maybe he has a point. Also, Ravi, a friend of my husband, gave me the idea that I should invite famous people to my podcast. He sent me some sample podcasts as well that I could relate to, and I was super excited about the idea. I decided I will invite famous people or celebrities in my circle for my episodes. For us nerdy IT folks who seem to believe that IT is all that there is in the world, celebrities for us are our previous big bosses or heads of units and so on. So I wrote to an ex-president of my previous company who I really look up to to join me in an episode. An ex-president of a large corporation, obviously I did not get a response. My husband laughed at my supposedly super high confidence on my podcast brand and said that president you invited is a celebrity you are not what did you expect well they say if you don't ask the answer is always no so i asked and the answer was not even a no but an epic snub then i did something basic looked up the meaning of celebrity the dictionary meaning is a famous person in your circle in the fields of entertainment especially in areas such as films music writing or sport And then I thought of one person in my life who is a celebrity of sorts in my life. It's another thing that I may have spanked this person more times than I can admit to, a true Indian mother style. What prompted me to choose my daughter as the first celebrity are the epic arguments, fights and conversations we have had about every topic on earth which I must admit has evolved me not just as a mother but as a person as well and i have realized over time that if you actually listen to the young- youngsters listen with no preconceived notions about how little they know or how much more we know they make a lot of sense actually most great things on earth were achieved by youth because the youngsters do not know enough to be careful and therefore they think and attempt things that we think are risky or we think are silly and things like that uh if you actually google things achieved by youth i'm not talking about just like people just about people like greta thunberg or malala yousuf the actual in indian youth on ground you'll be surprised and heartwarmed by what their focus is it's definitely not who is eating which animal or which community in the society is superior or which god is greater it is things like rescuing rehabilitating homeless drug addicts rescuing abandoned animals apart from voicing out vices in the society created by us the so called wise adults they are also doers and impact makers you can actually google this and you'll know what i mean if you research 
most great ideas for technology and progress comes from youth up to 30 if as species we advance from generation to generation it is through the rebellious young or the youth culture so in this episode i call upon my daughter who believes that she and what her fellow young friends stand for can never be wrong but what i will mull over in this episode is what they feel and go through in their journey with parents and with society as a whole till they are teens they adore the parents the adults around them but once their hormones start kicking in they start to notice the flaws of parents and the society around them and each of these young things have their own way to cope with the obnoxious and foolish adults some rebel openly some show complete apathy and some more evolved ones just lead double lives and very effortlessly one for the parents and one for what they believe in so i find this whole psyche of youth that is going to evolve our society really very interesting so can't wait to share my next episode of mulling over series with my daughter ridila kumar apart from being my daughter she is the editor in chief of manipal journal and intern in ogilvy and methan so stay tuned coming soon fourth episode of the mulling over series a voice to hear